In this video, we're going to do a quick overview of how to create an email in Charity Engine. So to get started, we're going to go to the Create New button in the Creative section under Campaigns and click Email Builder. With my email creation tool open, the first thing I'm going to do is close out this message. Now I've got here an easy drag and drop capability to uh, add drop in pictures or edit text. It's all very easy to do. Um, but since I've already pre-created templates to save time, I'm going to go to my templates and I come over here to the template I want. And now you see I have a header, Charity Engine, and a footer for Charity Engine. Again, I could just drop pictures in here and change the text right here, but we're going to show you how to do it from the start. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these sections. And now we have a blank canvas ready to go. So the first thing I want to do is add a picture in the center as my header picture. So to do that, I go to structure and I have different kinds of structures, one image, split images, one third to two thirds, two third to one third, um, thirds. Uh, in this case, I want one image, so I'm going to go bring that over here. Now I go to content. I've created the space. I can either do text, image, buttons, whatever I want. I'm going to go image. Drag that over. And now I'm going to select my image. I go to browse and that opens up my uh, image tool. I can upload images, I can import from other online sources, or I can search our library of free photos. I want this image, so I'll click insert. Now I have my header image. Two things I want to do. First, I want this image to fill out the whole space. So I'm actually going to go over here to body and body will allow me to change the dynamic of the body. So now that image fills out the entire width of the email. The other thing I'm going to want to do is change image. Now this image when it presents will show this picture, but sometimes before you load your pictures in your email client, you won't see it. So we can either, uh, we want to rename the alternate text. So maybe, why don't we say, will you help find this alpaca a home? That way, if someone doesn't see that actual image, they'll still understand what's there. Next is the action button. So if I wanted, uh, when somebody clicked this image, that it would go somewhere, like open a web page, I could add that in right here, or maybe they click it and it um, sends an email. I could do that too. I don't want it to do anything, so I'm just going to leave it blank. Now we're going to add a donate button. So again, we're going to go to structure. We're going to add a new section. Then we go to content, add our button. And now this button is going to be donate today. Okay. I can actually change the color too. If I don't like that blue, maybe jump over here and I want it to be my green. So now I've got a green button. Okay. Um, another thing I can do is change the width. So right now it's set at auto width, but I can actually slide this to make my button larger and smaller. And where that helps is if I have a button in a small space that starts to run onto two lines, I can usually just spread it out and make it, uh, make it all fit. But in this case, I'm pretty good with the button. Next, we want to determine where the button is going to go. So in this case, we're going to have it go to charityengine.net. Normally, this would go to your form or wherever it is that people are making the gift. So now that's set. If someone clicks that form, that button, it will go to that page. All right, then let's add just a little bit more text. So to do that, we're going to have a uh, let's go with, let's go with a image and a text and text. So we've got a, uh, a, a one third panel here and a two thirds panel here. So what I'm going to do is go to my content and I am going to drag an image right here and I'm going to add text right here. And now, as you can see, whenever I click in a text box, it gives me text tools. If you don't see it, click out and just click back in like I just did. It's the time of the year to give to alpacas. Do you know how much $10 can do for a family of alpacas? 
find out today by donating to our organiz or organization. Okay? So, I'm actually going to go back here, click off, I'm going to go back here, I'm going to make that header a little bit bigger and also bold it. Okay? Um, I'm going to add an image here. So let's go to Browse to find our images. And I actually know the image I want to use. It's right down here. There we go. And now we've added this image right here. Now I'm looking at this and thinking that my text is a little high compared to the image. So what I'm going to do right here is just um, I've got my box, my block options. This is my block. I'm going to go to more options and I'm going to bump it down from the top by giving it a little bit more space. And now I've got my email. Maybe the last thing I want to do is drop in another section, which will be a video. And once I have the video, I would just add that URL right here. Uh, Lastly, maybe I want a divider to sort of separate these sections. So I'm going to go to divider and I'm going to drag that over right here. And now I've got a divider and maybe I want to put the divider right here as well. And as you can see, I've created a nice look. Click preview. We've got our email. How's it look on mobile? Looking pretty fine. Click uh, X this out, and we're done. To get it, to save it, we're going to want to name it. So, will you help the alpaca? Click Create. Now it's asking, do you want to name the creative the same as the subject? That we could, or we just say Save the alpaca 2018 summer. Click Save. And now we've gone ahead and created ourselves a new email.